Hello and welcome back. Today with this tutorial is going to cover 7F U.S. incarceration rates tutorial and a follow-on short video for question. So with no further ado, let's start the tutorial. And note by the bar we will be completing lesson seven in totality with this with this lesson. So let's see what what are the objectives. Read read a news article and identify specific info. Represent information from the article as ratios, rates, and percentages. And as said in the opening, this will be covering incarceration rates. So next class, you need to be able to measure the rate of change in data and analyze and discuss those changes. The tutorial for 7F, U.S. incarceration rates, begin here. Uh, review the prop, enter your response in the box. All right, so let's read this article. Inmate count in U.S. dwarfs other nations at this location. And the question is, when was this article published? So we're going to highlight the HTTPN a TP address. Again, no period. Let's open a new window. And let's see. This is an article written in 2008. So the first question. 2008. Article was published in 2008. Uh, review the prompt, enter your response, check your answer. Based on the article, how many people in the U.S. were behind bars at that time? It was in 2008. Uh, let's go reading it. Uh, 5%. Uh, looks like it says 2.3 million criminals behind bars, more than any other nation according to the King's College of London. So 2.3 million. Two point three million people incarcerated. Eh. According to the article. Okay, now let's see. Let's find paragraph seven. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, paragraph seven in the United States comes in first. Yay, USA. Two on uh, a more meaningful list from the Prison Studies Center, the one ranked in order of the incarceration rates. It has 751 people in prison per 100,000, and only count adults, I, mean, I guess you minors, um, one in 100 Americans is locked up. Hmm. 1% 1 1 American adults, I presume. Those are, those are adults. Now, in say American adults, I guess that, does that mean U.S. citizens or, or what? I'm not sure. Don't have all the specifics, but we'll just go with the flow. Oh, here we go. Ah, there it is again. Write the ratio and calculate the rates present, presented in the qu quotation. All right, so one rate would be how many per 100,000? <clears> so simply one per 100,000. And the other rate was one for every 100. Now, this is the same as point. 751 per 100. And then from this guy, for every 100 adults, for every 100 adults, there's one adult locked up. All 
And I'm not sure this just means federal prisons, is that federal prisons, county county jails, um, local jails. So I'm not sure what all those numbers are comprised of. So 751 per 100,000 or 1 per 100, depending on the which line we're looking at. <clears throat> Okay, so reduce the percentage that will make this 0.751%. That would make this 1%. It always multiply by 100, right? Or we divide by 100, the percent would basically be the top the numerator. Okay, so you compare the number of people behind bars in the U.S. to that of China, around to the tenth place. Uh, let's find China. China. Let's find China. Okay, here's England, Germany, and Japan, and Russia. Okay, all this fails. Control F. Type in China. Spell it correctly. Here we go. Uh, China, which is four times more populous than the United States, is a distant second with 1.6 million people in prison. Uh, that number excludes hundreds of thousands of people held in administrative detentions, most of them in China, the extrajudicial system of education. Ah, gulags! Yeah, let's uh, uh, not also good. They just I don't know shoot people a lot too. So okay, let's go go with officially in prison. It's one point six million people. So one oops. So America has two point three million. China has one point six million. Double check that two point three number. Yeah, 2.3. And that comes on uh, what? 2.3. It becomes a 1.44 newton tenths. So we have 1.4 times. The prisoners than China has in the official prison system. So 2.3 by, by 1.6 g equals 1.4 as a ratio. And 1.4 years for each prisoner in China. <coughs> Now, that 1.6, do the grain of salt. Okay, if you prompt enter, check your answers. Does the U.S. system have longer prison sentence for specific nonviolent crimes compared to other countries? Provide one more examples. Uh, let's see. Try. Um, Okay, let's go for sentences. Apply the number of lengths of American prison sentences. Uh, become vastly harsher over the years. Uh, people who have nine violent transfers were are less likely to receive um, prison time, so less likely to receive long sentences. I'm not seeing a specific example here yet. OK, 
Okay, okay, there's one. Burglars. Burglars in the U.S. serve an average of 16 months in prison, according to Mr. Maurer, compared with five months in Canada, seven months in England. Burglars receive about 16 months sentence in the U.S. with five months in Canada and six month sentences in England. Seven months. Seven months? Yeah, seven months. Let's fix that. Seven months. <clears throat> Now, to be honest, I've already looked at the article, and I don't really see enough specific examples. So you may want, just for your own personal, <clears throat> go out and look at other w w articles and see if you find other examples of sentencing in the United States compared to other countries. Now, mine, at least with the United States, as a burglar, you know, you get get in prison in other countries they you know they cut your hand off yes so it's a short sentence but you lose a hand in the process because it was the, the, the it was a hand that made you steal so give it the hand you won't steal no more that's something the flaw that's some of the logic in some judicial system in some countries uh prison population is not the same in all states which state has the lowest and which state has the highest Let's see, let's see. Scroll through, scrolling. Ooh, Minnesota looks more like Sweden than like Texas. Uh, Sweden prison by 80 per 100,000. Minnesota is about 300. Texas almost 1,000. But Maine has the lowest at 273. Louisiana the highest at 1138. Okay, so here's the answer for that one. But Maine has the lowest and Louisiana the highest. So let's see, let's fix that. So Maine is two seventy three per one hundred thousand. G equals 273 divided by 100,000 times 100, which is 0 0.273 percent, and Louisiana Oh, check. 1,138 1, divided by 100,000, which comes out to 1138 1, divided by 100,000 times 100, which is 1.138%. Wow, that's a lot of people. All right, so now, by the time you do this on your own, you should be able to be comp out going through an article and getting specific information out of it, and of course, finding percentages, because we've been doing that a lot. And we're going to hmm, check it out. I didn't say that. Save it. Remember, to get from here to here, you had to take the number and multiply by a percent.
to go from a decimal equivalent, which is just a 1138 over 100,000, to the percentage. Always going to multiply by 100. All right. We completed the tutorial on incarceration, and we have completed to this is all we've, we've done so far. So, our chapter lesson seven, we've covered six topics from budget priorities, more budget, more budget, more budget, credit score, and incarceration. So we cross race rates tutorials done. Uh, go back, look it over, um, do you do it yourself to get the, the point credit that you're for doing it, for, cl for clicking and, and looking through it. And we we'll back shortly, we'll do the, the solve question for this section. Uh, so with that, I say adieu, and I'll see you shortly.